about Would you like me to just to tell you of my absolute delight that we are able to take part in the European elections on the 23rd of May? Of course I'm going to vote, yes. Um, I'm very pleased that we have got to this point where we can have the EU elections here. We can elect some MEPs from the United Kingdom because I thought we might not get that opportunity if we had left on March 29th. Yes, we will be taking part in the EU elections. Uh, I'm very hopeful that the Brexit party will get the majority vote in that to send a clear message to our parliament that the majority of people still do want to Brexit. So we need everybody to turn out and vote for people's vote parties, remain parties, and hopefully they will work together. I will be voting for a pro-EU candidate not someone who just wants to um, block things with a spanner in the works. We're actively working to try and get people to vote for Remain parties. And uh, of course, Mr Farage is actively trying to get people to vote for the Brexit parties. The EU election itself, people don't seem to be wanting to go out on that. But the country is totally divided, 50-50 about whether we want to stay in or whether we don't. Our government is in disarray, which is good, because the more disarray it is, I think the more likely we are not to leave the EU. So far, over £60 billion pounds wasted on trying to implement a Brexit that no one wants anymore. Both the Labour and Conservative MPs were elected on manifestos which pledged to deliver Brexit, but since they were elected they've done everything to try and actually stop us from leaving the European Union. Um, Mrs May's withdrawal agreement that she's trying to get passed uh, doesn't actually facilitate us properly leaving. So I, can't, I can't see why, why it would get passed by Parliament again. I mean, she's already brought, brought it three times. Or is it twice? And the Speaker of the House of Commons has said she may not keep bringing the same thing back. Um, so I don't know what she's going to come back with, but the EU have said that they're not going to change anything. So I don't see how that's going to work. I didn't think Brexit is going to happen at all, actually. Um, I think it was um, a losing proposition from the get go. Um, I think uh, it's hopeless. Maybe we'll have a general election or. Maybe they'll decide to have another referendum. Um, if they have a referendum that says her deal versus remain, then leavers have nothing to vote for. Um, so we will end up remaining, I presume. If they make it a fair referendum where they say, OK, we already asked you, do you want to remain or leave? Now we're asking you how we leave. Should we leave with this deal or should we just revert to WTO rules and then start a trade negotiation with the EU? If that was the referendum question, then it would be fair and we would get an outcome to that. I think in the end we will probably be remaining in the EU. European elections, here we come. <laughs>